Hello, everybody, and welcome. Um, I want to uh, show you something that I have recently learned. It's taken me five or six months to learn this, but I've been trying to do hair for Unity 3D, and I just couldn't figure out how to do it. It was just puzzling to me. I couldn't figure it out. It was very aggravating. So, what I have found out is I have found a way to actually get Blender's particle system to convert to an actual mesh that we can use in Unity 3D, and I'm going to show you how I how I was able to accomplish it. Uh, right now, I'm using a manual uh, what is it manual Bashion Labs 1.61 for the base model here. Um, if you have not downloaded that, I would recommend going to their website, downloading it. It is great for if you want to create characters kind of quickly. Uh, you know, if you, uh, if I render, you know, if I go and render this, I mean, the skin and everything, it's all pretty much, it's all pretty much set up for us. Anyway, when you, uh, when you actually initiate one of the characters, they all have these uh, armatures here, which basically they're already, they're already ready to be animated, which is awesome. Uh, basically what we want to do here is go ahead and select this humanoid. We're going to hit tab. We're going to hit uh, these. Uh, we're going to stay in face mode here. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab these vert or vertices. We're going to grab these faces right here. Let's just kind of go over this real fast. Da, 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 da. Uh, let me get out of orographic mode. Don't really need that. And hit C. I'm going to go ahead and try to select some more here. Right click to get out. Make sure none of that's selected. We don't want none of that. Oops. Uh, if you select something that you didn't mean to, uh, pressing down on the mouse scroll wheel will also deselect. And there we go. That's what we want right there. So everywhere we just highlighted, basically what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control G. We're going to make a new vertex group. We just assigned it. Hit Tab, exit out. We're going to go into the modifiers. We're going to add a modifier. We're going to go to Particle System. Under the Particle System tab, we will select that. We will change the type from emitter to hair. After we still, after we have done that, we'll change the hair length. We'll kind of We'll kind of narrow it down, 0 0.05. And what you can see right now is that we have hair all over the body. And this is why we actually made uh, the vertex group. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drop down the vertex groups menu, select density. And I want you to notice that here we have calf L, calf R, uh, clavicle L, you know, clavicle right, foot left, foot right. By selecting those, you can add hair to those vertex groups. So some vertex groups are already done for you. But in this case, I don't think that it was done for the head, so I made my own. So I'll, right here, group is, would be the one I just did. You can see that now all the particle hair is only on top. What we want to do is we'll go ahead and close the vertex groups. Uh, I'll go ahead and close the render. We want to make sure advanced is select so we can get our... Um, Physics tab. Under Physics tab, there's Browning. And I'm going to... Whoop, too high. Try to get it kind of go back a little bit. There we go. Uh, you know what? That's not, that's not bad. I can live with that. I'm just showing you guys how to do this. Um, and children, go to Interpoliate. And you can see we kind of have some crazy Afro hair. Shift Z if I render this, you can see we have some hair. Shift Z back out. Basically what we want to do is I'm going to take this clump and I'm going to bring this clump all the way up. You can see we kind of have some 90s, early 2000s, you know, kind of uh, like a, a spiky look. And we like that. We like spiky. Anyway, pretty much that's 
all I'm going to do for that. Uh, you can kind of make your hair however you want. Um, if you want to comb or puff, cut, weigh it down, you can do that in the particle edit. If I go to particle edit, you see comb, smooth, add, length, puff, cut, weight. You can adjust however you see fit, make it the way you like it. Anyway, after we have the hair, uh, what I want to show you right here, control middle mouse wheel makes you push down and slowly drag back on your mouse. So you can pull, you can pull it back to kind of have a little more control over how far you're zooming in and out. Um, what I do want you guys to see right here, besides the inside of my brain that I am, or inside of my head where there's no brain. Anyway, when you try to when you try to bring this into Unity. Uh, basically, you have a bunch of strands. I almost started pointing at the fucking TV screen like like you guys can see that shit. Anyway, uh, anyway, you got these little strands, basically a bunch of little verts. Unity won't render that. It's not it's not really a mesh yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Alt-C. We're going to convert from mesh to curve, which would be the top button. We're going to select that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. My bad, my bad. Control-Z. God, he looks creepy as hell. My bad. Before we do that, you want to go down to Particle System and hit Convert. Now, what we're going to do is Alt C, Curve to Met, or Mesh, uh, Curve from Mesh. <sighs> Excuse me. Huh. Anyway, we got a Curve button here. We're going to select that. We're going to hit Fill Deformed, and we got a Bevel option here. We're going to go ahead and just kind of bevel this. Man, bam, right there about... Yeah, let's go down a little bit more. There we go. Bell like that. Alt, C, after you... Uh, okay, so after we went in and did the fill deformed, you have geometry and you have depth under the bevel. And I, I went to about four. So now I'm going to hit Alt C. I'm going to convert from curve to mesh. Now that's done. Uh, so basically, what we have done is we have actually created our hair. Let me go ahead and get rid of the existing hair. Um, pros and cons about this: um, getting really crazy with the particle system in you or in Blender can really make this tris up here go up like crazy fortunately this is actually the lowest lowest tris i've ever gotten it so far but you know just by doing that you know just that little bit doing that little bit of hair you can see that we have only 296,000 tris which that's not too bad it's really not that bad Anyway, so we're going to control S. We're going to save it. We're going to save it as hair from Blender to Unity. I'm going to save it. I'm going to pull Unity back up. Go ahead and delete this. Uh, duh, 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 not create. We're going to import new asset. We're, I'm going to select desktop because that's where it was saved at. Uh, so we're looking for the H's here, which we've went right there. If I quit hitting my mouse wheel, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna actually go ahead and bring our bring our new thing in, bring our new model with hair in, and it's gonna be kick ass. And uh, I've I've used this uh, I've used this method multiple times you can see this little big foot or gorilla that i made so this this does work basically what you're doing is unity does not read the vertices or edges of uh, blender's particle system so basically what you're having to do is you're having to take that vertices or those edges and blender and you're needing to bevel them and I guess I guess another way you could do it without converting to a curve, I guess you could try. I think it's either Control or it's Alt B, and then just slightly drag your mouse wheel down or down like away from the character or into the character, and it should bevel it for you. But I have not I have not tried that method myself, and uh, you know, see we got right here, 
So anyway, you can see that uh, Unity has read the hair. Um, you can see th this hair is kind of like a plane in a game engine where from one side you can see it, see whatever texture you apply to a plane, and on the other side you can't see through it. Uh, fortunately, Sasona Studios is uh, they have put out a shader. It's like a two-pass shader, and it's great for like if you, uh, I don't know, I guess if you want to actually go as far as to, uh, <sighs> excuse me, God, yeah. All right, so anyway, if you're gonna if you're gonna do like real, I guess real grass instead of using what Unity lets you use, you'll probably want a two-pass shader. If you're gonna make leaves for the trees, you're probably gonna want this two-pass shader. If you're doing hair for a character, you're probably gonna want this two-pass shader. So anyway, I've already created I've already created this material right here. You can see Sasona Studios double-sided standard diffuse. After I downloaded, imported it, double-sided standard, and they also have you know transparent. They have emissive. So we're we're just gonna do standard bump diffused. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this and we're gonna bring it up, and bam! Look at that. We actually uh, you see all over it. Not bad, not bad. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't ready for big for a uh, buggy to be there is what we're what we're calling him. Uh, that actually kind of spooked me there for a second. I was like, "Oh shit, what's that?" <laughs> he's he's actually a lot bigger than he's actually a lot bigger than uh, this model. I'm actually uh, I'm actually slowly working on. Uh, actually, slowly working on a uh, a video game, and that's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to show you guys this because this uh, the game that we're working on got put on halt for so long, and it was just mainly because I didn't have the adequate knowledge that I needed. Basically, the adequate knowledge of being just getting this hair in, because you can see it, you know, doing a Bigfoot model and stuff like that. You know, this was, uh, I did not use any clumping for this. I actually just used uh, browning. And then I was, I combed stuff around, poofed some stuff up. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Um, one thing, one other thing I do want to tell you about also, instead of being like what I was trying to do, and I'll, I'll probably just show you like this. Uh, Basically, for hair from Blender to Unity, I'm going to drop this tab down. I'm going to drop the skeleton down, root, oops, pelvis, spine, spine 2, spine 3. And basically, we're going to drop the neck. And here's the head. Basically, we want to take this mesh and drop it onto the head. Yes, continue to break the prefab. And basically, why I did this is I try, what I was originally trying to do was I was trying to get the hair to follow Bigfoot like the way he would move his arms and stuff and it wasn't working the way I wanted it to and it was really jacked up. I was trying to find ways to parent it, you know, in bl or yeah, in Blender. And finally I was just like, "Well, you know, when I'm in Unity, I could just make separate meshes for all parts of the body. Drop everything down and see so we got head, we drop this hair mesh on the head. So now if we grab the head and we go to this rotate tool, you know, when we tilt the head, the hair is tilting with it. Don't you agree? Ah, go fuck yourself. Don't listen to him, guys. Anyway, just kind of show you a little bit here. Just kind of this is kind of what I was talking about. So, the forearm here. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. What, what the fuck is going on there? It's actually the lower arm. It says right forearm. If I drag this out a little bit, it says right forearm hair. Oopsie. So we want left arm hair, our left arm, lower arm, and you can see as we move it the hair is following so instead of trying to rig the hair or trying to attach the hair to parts of the body uh you're just better off just to go ahead and uh this when you're going to uh, excuse me geez why well, quit yawning uh you're better off when you go into unity to go ahead and make separate meshes and drop those meshes where you need them inside of unity to follow the character where you want it and, and that's it. I mean, we basically put hair from Blender's particle system into Unity. And I really hope this helps out. Um, I really hope this helps out, helps you guys out a lot. So, 
Until next time, thank you for watching.